Okay, this is a pretty high level overview of a very specific use case of combining auto hotkey and touch portal for some simple productivity. Uh, if you are not familiar with auto hotkey or touch portal, don't start here. But if you are familiar with both of those tools, then this might give you some ideas on how you can combine them. And for context, I run a podcast where we talk about movies and we're talking about multiple movies at a time. So I'm constantly having to call up the name of the film and the year that it was released, as well as the IMDb links and the Wikipedia links and the trailer links. Uh, that I'm using either for reference or that I need to hyperlink in the blog post or for social medias. And since we have up to four films per podcast and we're often also calling up the films that we're going to talk about next time, that's eight films and eight sets of hyperlinks that are really difficult and I'm consuming to either be calling up all the time or just trying to remember off the top of my head. And so this is my solution for that, that I can just keep all those values stored in these buttons and then update them every month as the films that were going to be coming up are now the current films. And then we add in the new ones and it all starts with uh, this auto hotkey script that uses CSV values and then loads them into these files that holds the title of the film, the year of the film, and all of the links. Uh, and those files also get pulled from this CSV into individual files. So for the first movie, each one of the values gets pulled into its own file, into its own CSV file in a folder. And then those, since Touch Portal cannot read CSV files directly, what it can do is read individual files into value. So then those each get loaded into their own value. Um, and then when I hit the populate button, it literally just sets the contents of each of those individual files to the values. And then those values are then called up by these buttons, which you can see on the panel. And then there's also a button that will load up all of the IMDb pages at once or all of the Wikipedia pages at once, etc. And there's also a switch to coming attractions or uh, current films. So what I'm about to do is load up the next set of films. So I'm going to just quickly demonstrate how that works. So this update button runs the script that will update the CSV to either update from the CSV or enter all the films individually. Alternately, if I make a typo or something while inputting, I can just open the CSV and edit a value individually. And then if I use the update from current CSV, then it will update all of the subsequent files that come from that. Um, but in this case, I have all of my links pulled up here. So I'm going to say no, and then I'm going to enter all my information and I'm going to speed through this part. Okay, so now I've finished inputting all of my values. And so it gives me a alert. It tells me which films I'm about to delete. Those are ones that are already done. So I could say, okay, don't need those. And then it tells me what the new current films are and what are the new upcoming films. And then I can check these and make sure that these are the right values here and that these are the new values that have been bumped up from coming attractions to current films. And I can double check the entire lineup and that all looks good. And the other point about the CSV 
that is useful is I have it linked to an After Effects uh, template where it will pull in the values from the CSV and input them into our visualizer. I'll do a separate video about that. Um, but just as a quick demonstration of how this is useful, now that I have all of my new upcoming films put into the thing, I can uh, hit the populate button and then just refresh this. And now I can see all the new films on my panel. And I have this green toggle button that changes the action of all the buttons slightly. So if it's green, it's only going to input just the name of the film. Um, and if I have it set to red, it will put the name and the year of the film. And same thing with the IMDb and trailer links. If I click the IMDb link when it's green, it will merely open the link. But if I make it red, then it will go through a sequence uh, in which it will basically just create a hyperlink and go through the WordPress uh, key presses in order to make it open in a new tab so that I do not have to do that every single time. So then inputting all my films is as easy. as that. And then I can double check that my hyperlinks are all correct. And it looks like we are good to go. Uh, and there's a couple other things that go on in here. For example, um, I have one that will create um, my tags or some of the simple tags that just come from the year and the names. Um, obviously it gets a little bit messed up if we're not doing a full four films. Um, and I also have one that will create uh, basically all the titles of the films with hashtags that makes it a little easier to put into Twitter. Um, and then there's a button that just opens the, uh, the CSV. So that is the basics of how that works. Just makes my life a little bit easier. Um, so maybe it'll give you some ideas. Thanks for watching.